Hey y'all, welcome back to my page. My name is Becky and I'm with the Simple Spruce Studio. Today I've got three projects for you and we're gonna start off with these Crocs. These Crocs I received from Dunker Auction. They came, it's an online auction site, but they uh, came in a lot of some other things that I had purchased. And if you notice, they do have some chips on the top and they're not in perfect condition. But we are going to do a really quick upcycle on them just to add some character. I think they're beautiful pieces and this is just gonna add to them. Now the Crocs are darker, so I've got this IOD traditional pots transfer. It is an older book and it comes with the uh, two pages of black transfers, one with white transfers and one with blue transfers. And today, we are going to use on this project the white ones i thought that those would look great they would pop off the colors of um, the crocs so i'm just going to pick out two that i think look good on these pots and then we're going to go from there um the little envelope zipper envelope that i have them in you all you'll have to check out my amazon store link they're on there they're water resistant and tear resistant. You get 12 in a package. Your IOD transfer books fit in them perfectly. I love those little folders. So we're going to get started here. I'm going to start with a larger croc. I got to get my uh, rubbing stick out, which comes with um, every one of your transfers that you order. And I'm going to cut the two apart here and then if you're not familiar with the IOD rub on transfers all you have to do is peel off the back the white sheet and here I'm showing you that I'm going to put the crack um, part of it the chip toward the back and then when you display stuff in it it's not hardly even going to be noticed so you just take the white backing off you place the transfer where you want it. And I don't measure, y'all know that. I just eye it. That's just what I do. <laughs> and then you take your stick and you firmly rub over the transfer. And then you can start by peeling up your uh, carrier sheets from one corner and pull it up slowly and if you see anything that's still on the carrier sheet just lay your carrier sheet back down and rub back over it and it will stick down yeah i'm not a real big measure my husband it drives him nuts we were hanging a shelf uh in the nursery the other day and uh I just held the shelf up there and eyed it and of course here he comes in behind measuring and all this stuff and it was so close to being centered that he was he was even floored so I'm like see see what I mean <laughs> it took him longer to go get all the tools to find the studs to measure and make sure it's leveled and yeah no this girl ain't got time for all that. So yeah, I hold it up there. I look at it. No, that looks good. So very rarely will you see me measuring anything. So here I am just going to rub over the entire transfer and um, get it adhered to our crock. Okay, here on the smaller croc, you notice this croc has a very shiny, it's almost like iridescent, um, like top coat to it that is, that is not gonna make a difference in this uh, IOD transfer sticking to it. These things will stick to anything. Plus I will end up sealing both of these crocs 
with um, a polycrylic spray. I will spray over the um, transfers and the entire um, the tire the entire crock for that matter. So so yeah, that shiny top coat iridescent sheen to it is not going to make a difference in this IOD transfer sticking to it. Okay, moving on to project number two. I thrifted this kraut cutter. Um, I have made these over before and they sell awesome on my website. I love the color of the wood, the patina of it, the age, the rust on the blades, everything about it. So we're just going to do another simple spruce up here. I've got my POTS transfers out again. And we're not gonna use the white ones on this. This one, I wanna use the black ones. So I'm just sorting through, trying to figure out which ones I want to use on this. And I decided I wanted one on top and bottom. So I'm trying to pick out uh, two of them that I think will look good and be the right size for the look I'm going for. So. So I've got these two picked out here and the next step, I'm just going to do exactly like I did on the pots, the crocs. I'm just going to remove the white backer, backer sheet and lay my transfer down where I want. Again, just eyeing it, making sure that it looks centered. I want it a little lower um, on the bottom part and a little higher on the top because I do want to add something in the middle, which you'll see here in a little bit. So here I'm just going to uh, continue getting these transfers on. Okay, here I decided that I wanted to be able to add a decor piece to the middle of this. I didn't want it to completely cover up the rusted blades. Y'all know I love my rusty crusty stuff, but I wanted to be able to have this piece um, to be able to be changed out for the seasons, the holidays or whatever. 
So I'm using a little hook, a screw in like an eye hook, but it's an opened eye hook. And what I did was I just took a really small drill bit, drilled a little, uh, pre-drilled a little hole in it. I did not want the wood splitting or anything. And then um, I'm taking my pencil, putting it through the little eye hook on the end and twisting it until I get it all the way in there. And of course I've got to go back a little bit to get it straightened out. <laughs> So I get that on there and then that allows me to hang a wreath on the top. And you can change this wreath out for Christmas, for any holiday, and see you can still see the rusty crusty blades through it, which I love that about this piece. And there is a look at it finished. It will look awesome with a Christmas wreath on it, spring wreath, or even with nothing on it. And you can unscrew the little hook and take it out if you prefer you don't want it there. Okay, third and final proje project here is I thrifted this teak wood bowl and listed on the website. It has not sold yet, so I'm pulling it off and we're going to uh, upcycle it, spruce it up, and uh, see if it will sell. Now the white base is um, half of a candlestick that I uh, purchased from Dollar General. And the top part of that candlestick was wood. Well, I didn't like the look of the candlestick, so I cut it, the pieces in half and I've used each piece on separate projects. So I do not want that top rim of my bowl painted, nor do I want the inside of it painted. So to try to keep a crisp, clean edge, um, there I am using my green frog tape. I am taping off the uh, top rim and the inside of the bowl so I won't get any paint on it. And um, I will take uh, a razor and trim off all the excess um, tape there around the edges. And then we are going to take um, DIY uh, paint in, I think it's Little Black Dress, and we're going to paint the uh, sides and the underneath of um, the bowl. And also we are going to paint the base, that uh, white candlestick, half of a candlestick. Also, but first we're gonna, I'm gonna take off the tape, the excess tape around. I'm just uh, cutting that off as close to the bowl as uh, possible. And to glue the bowl onto the base, I'm going to use my Starbond glue. And if you're interested in the Starbond glue, I highly recommend it. I love the stuff. I'm not sponsored by Starbond or anything, which is something I might, have to check into because <laughs> I do use it a lot in a lot of my videos and on um, my live videos on Facebook also. So, but when I get done trimming off all the extra tape and I have a clean edge there, I'm going to take the Starbond glue. Well, I try to use that candlestick for a different project. So on top of that piece um, that you see there in the top right hand corner, it has double-sided tape on it, and it's very sticky tape. So I'm not even gonna try to remove that. I'm literally just going to peel off the protective coating off the top of the sticky tape, the double-sided tape, and we're just gonna work with that. We're gonna put the Starbond glue on top of that, and then we're gonna take the Starbond um, accelerator spray and spray the bottom of the bowl where I'm gonna place the uh, candlestick holder. So here I'm showing you what I got. I got Starbond glue and the spray accelerator. You do not need the spray accelerator for the glue to work. That is just, the accelerator just does exactly what it sounds like. It speeds up, it accelerates the dry time for the glue. And I've used this glue on so many different types of surfaces and I've had such good luck with it. And they've got such a wide variety of products that they offer. So here you'll see I'm spraying the bottom of the bowl and then I'm going to attach 
the candlestick or half of a candlestick to the bottom of it. And like I said, within 10, 15 seconds, it has set up and it is good to go. And then, like I said, I'm going to take some DIY paint, little black dress, and I'm going to take my perfectionist DIY paintbrush, which I love. Again, not sponsored, but I love that pointed tip on the uh, perfectionist brush. Okay, after we've got that dried, I am back to the IOD traditional pots transfers. I am bound to determine to use these up. This is an older um, book for IOD, so I want to get it used up. It's been sitting in my stash for quite a while. So there I peeled off the tape, and now I picked out a transfer that I want to add to the uh, inside of the bowl. So, and I thought that the black, again, I'm going to go with the black transfer. I thought the black was a good contrast. I love that black color with that dark wood teak type bowl. And I am just looking at the wood grain of the inside of the bowl and lining up my uh, transfer to where it's um, even with that. And then I'm just going to take the little rubbing stick and... It can get tricky on items that are curved, but this bowl is not that curved that it's going to mess with uh, the transfer laying flat. On some cases, you might have to put little, um, take your scissors and put little slits in um, certain spots on that carrier sheet. Um, but here I didn't have to do it and it worked out just fine.
All right, y'all, here is a look at the finished projects. Um, I have sprayed each one of them, sealed them in with a spray poly acrylic to seal in the transfers and even the paint on the base of the bowl and the pedestal. Um, so they will be ready for shipping. And if you guys are interested in any of these uh, projects, you can find them for sale on my website at thesimplesprucestudio.com. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope it inspires you to look at thrifted items differently. And even if they're not in perfect shape, don't discard them. They still can be beautiful. It just adds character. And I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you all next time. Thank you.